Hello and welcome to another episode of Off. Start that fucking again. Right. Hello and welcome to another episode of Off the Beaten Part. My name is Tom and this is the Gerber Complete. And I think I'm a little bit in love with it and I want to show you why. So not only is it a spatula, it's also a knife. It's also a spoon and a fork. It's also a packet opener, if you're that way inclined. It's a bottle opener, a tin opener, and a vegetable peeler. And it all slots together beautifully in a low profile, lightweight system. But the most impressive thing, maybe not the most impressive thing, but something I'm certainly very excited about, is the fact that it's also a set of tongs, how cool is that? A lot of the times for the cooking bit, certainly in the pots, the one pot wonders, I'm just using either my spoon or this forky spork thing. If I'm taking fresh veg, things with thin skin certainly, this amazing peeler, it's very much, I think it's designed with a bit of safety in mind. It could be a bit more aggressive, but taking a file to one edge or both edges to change the, uh, the angle of cut would, would do uh, wonders there. But I found it's been fine for things like potatoes and carrot skins. I probably wouldn't put a button at squash through it. Um, bottle opener speaks for itself and works. The tin opener, it, you know, it does, it gets the tin open, but I probably will again take a file to that edge to make it sharp because it is a bit of a fight. The spatula itself, they're, they're, oh, they're shaped like this. They're very ergonomic to use, I've found. Uh, you'd think that this clunky bit just gets in the way, but actually you, you end up changing how you hold it and it does end up uh, working very well. This is made of plastic, black thermosetting plastic, so it can take a, a lot of heat. The edge is serrated, which does help. Obviously it's not gonna get through um, uh, much in the terms of uh, toughness, but it certainly is designed to have enough of an edge to get through most of the food. Silicon edge, perfect for scooping under uh, pancakes or eggs. And there's not much more to say about the fork and the spoon. Actually, that's a lie. There's a little bit more to say. So there, you see the ends of them. They've got this shape, this taper. So if you are going to still go down the single-use tear-open plastic packet things, that's great because they're designed to get right in the corners. But that also goes with the edges of cooking pots. Just by having a slightly flattened edges means you can really get every single last morsel of food, which means you can get every single last morsel of calories and benefit and taste. Um, in terms of feel, they feel nice. Um, some people with um, hypersensitivity might find that they've sort of got a matte finish. So people may find that a little bit weird. It's not got a polished edge, but you can just polish that down if that's gonna be any sort of issue. And I think over time, I've used them for a little bit and they're already, the um, anodizing is already coming off a bit. So I think over time, it'll smoothen out. They're arched like this in like that con concave there, convex, and that gives them a really bit of rigidity. They've got a bit of flex to them, which is nice. But I would say that the main selling point of these is how small they pack down to, but how amazing it is that you can have a set of tongs. So when you're putting the tongs together, you just slot that into there. And the fact that it goes downward is great because the pressure is always going down. So they're not gonna slip out. They're not just gonna ping open. If they went in from that way, you'd probably find they'd, they'd flip open more. So it's been really well thought out. It's really well designed. And I love, I just love stuff that's more than one stuff. Like the spork alone is good because it's a spoon and a fork. What? But, so you've got a spork and you've got a spoon that slot together beautifully like that, that ride up beautifully into the spatula and then you need this bit this is made of steel and it slots into there the compression holds it all in place I mean that really isn't going to take up much space in your backpack I, I just slide it into any any gap near my cook set um, uh, looking at any potential downsides, I would say that if you're traveling super light, you only need a spoon. This is all superfluous, but the benefit is you just take the spoon. The rest can stay at home. If you want to get a bit more adventurous with your cuisine, I hope you do, I assume you do, because you're watching my channel from time to time. I imagine that you're thinking, 
what can I do to improve my cooking experience outdoors? And one of those things I would say is having the right utensils. Uh, most of what I've done, I've done with a knife and a spoon in the past. Um, so do you need this? N no. Um, would it be useful? Incredibly. Um, if you want to take a lighter option, just take the spoon you've already got. Just take the, the items you already own. That's the other good thing about uh, camping, cooking, getting outside. It doesn't have to be expensive. This doesn't retail for that much anymore. I can't remember the exact price. I'm going to flash it on the screen. That's in US dollars at the time of this video. No, it's not. It's in Great British Pounds. Heck, have both. US dollars, Great British Pounds. Dad, name a currency. From what country is that? and the dinar, just there. That's how much this is retailing for as of August 2021. Um, of, of course, there's a link below if you'd like to not even faff and looking. I've tried to find a relatively inexpensive link from a decent seller. It is an affiliate link from Amazon. So if you do fancy picking this up, it costs you nothing, but I will get a little kickback, uh, which helps me uh, support the channel and uh, buy things like this to review so uh, you don't have to and uh, I try and keep all well all my reviews are independent I buy these with my own money no one's telling me to what to say that said let's move on to some of the negatives I personally don't think it weighs that much it weighs this much but if you're really counting the grams it's quite a lot but if you're really counting the grams you're probably not going to need something like this you probably even if you can take for example uh, the dal I cooked yesterday has a dry weight of just shy of 100 grams and it packs this many calories. And that is uh, just cooked with a spoon. You'll be fine with just a spoon. But um, So weight could potentially be an issue for you. The other things is if you want to take it all or not, not all of it, you need to take all of it to take some of it, if that makes sense. If you don't take this, that's going to rattle itself apart. If you don't want to take the spork, there's not quite enough compression to keep that comfortably together and it will rattle. So you need the whole set together to be able to uh, keep it packed away. You can of course get around this by using um, ranger bands, elastic bands, clips, whatever you like. There's always a way of getting around it. Um, but they would be uh, a couple of strong negatives but not enough for me to not want to use it and bring it out on this trip. I mean, I'm definitely going to be taking this out again and again and again, because what I've found is this allows me to be, to do more, cut more confidently. So if I want to, I've made drop scones or scones. I've never said scones before. I've made drop scones, uh, pancakes, when I went foraging with stew video here. And this came in really handy for turning our fried mushrooms that we made and also really handy for flipping the pancakes that we made. So that then that was just great. It means that I can spend less time faffing and more time cooking. So that that's really good. Anyways, that about wraps it up. This is the Gerber Complete C O M P L E A T. <laughs> Compl eat. I do like a good pun. Um, however puns aside it is really awesome worth picking up if you think that this is for you if you're just going to be munching on rehydrated food or very simple cooking then you just need the spoon and like i say if you can't you don't need a lot of expensive stuff to get out and get backpacking you don't need it um you can buy you know we all aspire to have certain gear certain tents certain everything um if you've got a spoon at home take a spoon um, top tip wooden spoons they cost next to nothing you might already own one and actually they're quite lightweight and you can do a lot with a wooden spoon you can get smaller ones you can cook with them you can eat with them they clean well and they're generally versatile or just whatever you've got knocking around so this is the Gerber complete cook set I'm Tom this is off the beaten pot cheers and gone Enchanté. Thank you.